Mr. Eva, good to have you. I, 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 I envisage that you were eagerly waiting, just like the other sports federation heads, to hear what the president had to say. Your initial reactions to his comment? Uh, I think that the team, we first want to make a, a claim that, look, there have been a lot of stakeholder engagements uh, the last few weeks. Um, we've been engaging the government um, stakeholders, especially with our own uh, regulatory agencies, um, the NSA, the MOIS. And it was prudent that uh, we had to scale down on based on the advice that we gave them. So that's also what informed the president's decision as regards to non-contact sports and individual sports. So in sports, you have sports which are contact sports and some which are non-contact. You realize in the president's speech that he, he said that this is a first phase of basically easing restrictions that is yet to come. So in his 10th um, address to, to the nation, he did reiterate that, look, uh, it was evident in terms of sports that individual sports, because you are not really in contact with someone, um, it's not like the other contact sports. Um, so basically for us, it was a good news for us uh, to begin preparation for a first step of, of easing, which was announced yesterday by the president. Now, uh, proud to this announcement, there were a whole lot of expectations. Mm. Uh, will you say, okay, the president has met the expectation of the badminton fraternity? Oh, for us, it, it has. I mean, we are a non-contact sport, and it has at this first phase. Um, so that is exception of events, exception of competitions. And basically, with our training sessions, we can start. And basically for us, it is important that our stakeholders also know uh, what we have to do. So this early morning, the association has released guidelines uh, on how our own stakeholders should operate. And basically, it's available to them uh, on their emails and basically our online website. So it came as a great expectation. So for someone watching right now, okay, mm. uh, waking up to the reality, everybody's mm. talking about president says everything has been eased down. Mm. Now, when we talk about uh, badminton, Mm. And we say it is uh, a non-contact sport. Yes. There are two people who play ba badminton, yes. at least. Yes. Two people play yes. badminton. Yes. Can one person play badminton? Uh, one person cannot play a badminton. So cannot. how come it is not a Okay, so we, we are in contact sports, you are basically dealing with, sorry, in non-contact sports, you are basically, if you look at badminton as a sport in itself, it is a sport played between two opponents, mm -hmm. either as a doubles or a singles. Mm. So we are an individual sport. So basically that enables you, there's a net in between the two of you. Mm -hmm. So the net is seven like a whole Just like what you're seeing on our screens now. Yes. So, okay. so basically you can actually play one-on-one, -on -one. we call it a singles, mm -hmm. and then we've got three different doubles. So it's either a woman's double, so two women against two women, or a mixed double, which is one male, one female versus one male, one female, mm -hmm. or a men's double, which is two men on one side and then two men on the other side. So. It is non-contact because I am not physically uh, touching my other partner, uh, my other opponent. Uh, I'm basically playing with my partner and basically not making any contact with my, my so, opponent. So uh, with what we see on if this screen, this is a mix. Uh, this is a men's double. So this is a mixed mix double. double. So yes. you see that basically the, the ones in red are playing with the ones in white. They are the opponents. And you find out that they are not contacting the opponents. So largely there is a screen, which is the net, which is sort of the cover that you need to always hit the shuttle to pass through the net. The two players playing against the opponents. Yes. Are they not going to meet each other? No, they are not. We are the talking net? about the contact. No. I mean, one team playing the other. Let's talk about the one team here. Okay. Let's say the mixed double. Yes. Two uh, people. Two people. One male, one female. Yeah. Are they not going to? Clash, one no, way or the no, other. No, no, is the body not going to no, get the contact? No, the, the body is not getting too much physical contact like contact sport. With contact sport, I am holding you to the end of the game. So, for instance, boxing. For boxing, I am holding you and physically challenging you to the end of the game. I'm wrestling. I'm wrestling, you are. Um, basically, if you look at um, um, football, you are. Because it's 11 on the opposing team versus 11. So, I am physically contacting you throughout the game. But in case of badminton, I am basically, you are my partner. Where it goes is where you follow to play. At the end of the day, when, when the cock falls down, yes. I pick it up. Yes. So what we have done as an association is that we have asked our members that, number one, you have to follow the hygiene protocols before and after play. Your shuttles, which is like the ball that we play with, mm -hmm. you must basically use the same shuttle that you have within the session of the period. The other thing we have added is that largely, and is as far as possible, let your doubles play come from the same household. 
So entirely, you are saying that, okay, uh, myself and you, mm -hmm. if we are from the same household, then we are going to participate in the doubles. So, so with that, whatever effect that we had come from, either from before or after, we still carry it back to our home. So that's what we have done. No, um, break it down a little bit. Okay, so let me break it down. Okay. So if in the singles, anyone can play once you're on court. Mm -hmm. So I play you and you play me. So that will be men's singles. So men, one boy on the other side, and then the opponent is one okay. side. That is so okay. Proud to coming to play. Yeah. You've, you've tested, you've gone through yeah, all, the, all protocols. the hygienic okay. protocols. Yeah. Then, then I pick the ball and I'm playing. Yeah. Um, do we sterilize the, the, shuttle. the, the shuttle? Yes, we do. So before you start the game, they will sterilize it. And then you yourself, you sterilize it yourself. And then you are not sharing rackets. No sharing of rackets. So what the racket that you play with, it's for you and only. Do not share it with another person at the same venue. So it falls down, mm -hmm. and when it comes to my end, yes. I pick it up yes. and play. Yes. We are using the same shuttle. Yes, but you change when the game is over. Okay. Don't forget, in badminton, you are using many shuttles. Yes. So in a normal situation, if COVID was not available, you will basically play badminton to the extent that if the shuttle is worn out or it falls yes. out or is that, you will change it. So this is what we are saying is that after myself and you, we finish playing, we change the shuttle. So you not carry it to the next team which will come and play. Okay. Then that one on our side. Yes. Let's say um, doubles. Yes. And you are saying that the doubles team, yes. you will be straight that whoever forms a pair yes. must come from the same club yes. or from the same enclave yes. to come. Exactly. One day are in the same club. We are not admitting or sanctioning any tournaments or events at this period. The guidelines that has been released through the Ministry of Youth and Sport was very specific to us. And all our engagements, we have reiterated that. So there is no competitions at this moment. You won't stage any no. competitions No, now. we will not. We will not stage any competitions okay. now. So it is just the clubs, whether in schools or in the communities. Mm. And then you have the elite squad, which is the elite training that they will do for the national squad. And that's what we are focusing on. Okay, let's come back to the, the doubles. doubles. Yes. So the pair must one come from uh, the same household. The same household. Yes. As you have put it. Yes. So let's say if it's a club, it's a household. Yes. So when they are playing, mm -hmm. they are from that place. Yes. A team cannot mix. No, you cannot. So myself and you, we are one partner, mm -hmm. and then we have our opponent being another partner. Mm -hmm. uh, our opponents also partners. So myself and you will be playing against the other opponent. Mm -hmm. And basically in the doubles, you realize that where it goes is where you hit. Mm -hmm. So that's why it makes it that unique that you can actually focus on the doubles play and then the mixed doubles play as well. They are all individual events. So in badminton, there are five events and the individual event. The men's singles, the women's singles, the men's doubles, the women's doubles, and the mixed doubles. And we are not playing any mixed team or team events. Okay. Yeah. So this one, every stakeholder in badminton is currently aware of. We no, we, we would be by close of day. By close of day, yes. this is the new directive that will go. Yes. So you wait for the president. For the new, group. yes, exactly. For the phase two of the new directives. But sincerely, um, uh, since this uh, lockdown and COVID issues came, mm. how have you guys been coping uh, mm. behind the scenes? Because no James, the stadiums have been locked where sometimes you go and then have your training or stuff has been locked. Uh, so basically no schools so how were you functioning and how was the communication with you and your mother body and the international world like well look the, the last 11 weeks for us in Ghana badminton has been uh, very challenging for us uh, but we've dealt with all our 44 clubs located in the communities so basically you realize that they focus on having training sessions which are essential for example they used to have four training sessions a week or three stages, uh, training sessions per week. They've reduced it to two. So this is what some of them did. The number of hours or matches that you would have played in each day. Sometimes some people play eight or nine matches and then they get worn out. They've reduced it to three. So these are the initial directives that we gave them in the earlier sessions the last 11 weeks. So what has happened yesterday night by the president's um, um, release is that, look, now we are saying that this is an enhanced guideline for you to operate, whether you are playing it in indoor, which is in the community. Some of them play it indoor. I mean, you have a place like um, a, big a, hall. a big hall. So, so it's actually outdoor. And then you have some, uh, like a dental badminton club, it's an outdoor club. You have others too who are located in schools, so they are indoor. 
So though school is not in session, sometimes some of them have permissible access mm. and they follow the hygiene protocols to ensure that these things are enhanced within what they need to do. So they've been cooperating and we've been working with them gladly. This is an enhanced guideline based on yesterday's directives. And, and uh, what uh, communication have you received from your mother body? Um, I know some, some of the federations received some grants here and there. Recently, we had CAF uh, extending some financial packages to all member federations. Has Bad Maintain uh, done something like that? I think that um, on, a, on a larger scale, what we receive each year is basically technical and development assistance. So, for example, in November, we were supposed to receive um, a training, a referee, a certified international referee to come and train us uh, on some technical officials that we have locally. So this basically the cost and everything gets covered by the world body. Now the world body is asking us whenever our government is travel restrictions and local protocols, we are ready, they are ready for them to assist us in that particular endeavor. Okay. Within even our own mandate as a national governing body, uh, we managed to secure sponsorship within this COVID season, which we began last year. That look, uh, there was a need to expand our badminton in schools program. And that we have done well by this particular initiative of we receiving equipment uh, from the Haichu through our world body as well, who really helped us to secure that sponsorship. And now the equipment have arrived and we've cleared them at the port. You've cleared them? Yes. Yes. We did that last Friday. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. So, so you uh, know, <laughs> <laughs> so clubs should get ready. So Yeah, clubs uh, and schools should get ready. We are going to expand the schools program. There are currently a little over 467 senior high schools in the country. Every senior high school will get some of these rackets. Wow. Either you get a one or a two or a bag with a racket and a shuttle for you to expand the program. Wow. And the most prioritized schools will be the schools that the last three years they have participated in badminton zonal competitions, inter-school competitions, inter-club competitions. Because we see that they are more keen and ready to receive those equipment. And then the phase two will come for those who are yet to start their own badminton program in their school, whether it's private or public. Wow. And so, um, so far, I, I know it's the day is too uh, yeah. early yet to really find out from the uh, authorities in charge of our various stadiums where mm. um, some facilities are there for now. I know mm. now that uh, uh, schools and uh, universities will be open, mm. probably the facilities will be available because yeah. some universities are having it for you guys to do it. But for the National Sports Authority, yes. um, when you look at the setup now, do you mm. feel that uh, they will easily allow you guys to... Uh, come and train because like I began I began we had stakeholder engagements with them so this is one of the focus it comes with it I mean they will allow us to train they will allow us to train under the usual hygienic protocols that um, the Ministry of Health and Government has been given they will allow us to use the facility which basically the government agency we've been working with so that they will start this particular Saturday I've had discussions with them this morning so we'll continue that during the day and tomorrow and don't forget that with the universities and the NSA Basically, there are 13 of the clubs that also sort of train there. So we we'll all modify it, and by Saturday, everybody can get back to normal business. Uh, you know, we ca I can't let you go without touching on the, the rescheduled Olympics. We have like less than two, three minutes here. Okay. Um, what is the latest? Okay. Last time we chatted, you said the age limit will not be a problem. Anybody yes. that qualified will still go to Tokyo yes. as a standstill. Yes. Again, for viewers sake, uh, mm. well, we see a badminton team going for Tokyo. Yes, we would. I mean, look, before um, COVID, there has been four athletes who had qualified as a then. You had boxing who had two. They were earmarked to go for other competitions, I think, in Europe. You had um, other sports which were also waiting for wild card and all of that. So largely now that has been moved to next year, uh, the IOC is saying that, look, the age restriction will not change and basically will follow same. So it will happen next year in summer, July 27th. And then the new, the new revised calendar for each particular federation's mother body. Uh, we have received ours last year, last week. Badminton received its own last week. Um, I'm sure the other federations in the coming days and weeks, they will also receive theirs. But most of the qualifiers will now begin again from August, um, based on how things would go. So, so there is hope for badminton? Yes, there is, from August to April. So we still have to go for more qualifiers and get back our foot to where we need to get to. So when, when as Ghana watches you now, as the president of badminton, yeah. w are we going to get a badminton team? We are, we are going to get a badminton team to represent. We've actually made concessions on how we will process our qualification. Mm. Funding is a